my name is Summer. Welcome to Elevate Beauty Company. Today I am here to give you my review and some tips and tricks on how to use the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. This is like using your round brush and blow dryer all in one little handy unit. And spoiler alert, I did not love it at first, but I'm gonna show you how to use it and give you some tips and suggestions for how to make it work for your hair. First of all, when I took it out of the box, I was a little bit surprised at how big it is. It's kind of like, it feels a little clunky at first, like the head of the blow dryer is a little bit large. So I was a little bit put off by that because I'm used to like a nice little small compact round brush and blow dryer, but I still gave it a try. It's actually kind of worn off a little bit, but it has off, cool, low, and high, and it gets really hot. All you do is turn this little knob right here, and it turns on for you. The one thing that I wish it had was a cool shot um, button. It's kind of hard to be using it and figuring out where to turn and twist and how to get it to the cool shot. But what I do is just do a cool blow dry at the very end instead of doing it at the end of each section. So it's not a huge like breaking point for me that it doesn't have one. However, I would add that in if I were going to redesign this product. It retails for $59.99. I picked it up at my local Target. You can get it on Amazon. I'll link it below. So I feel like it's pretty affordable. It's right in the, the realm of other blow dryers and I feel like it does a great job for the price point. So now let's get into blow drying and I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks as we go along. My first tip is to let your hair dry a little bit just out in the air. What I do is I take my shower, I do all of my skincare application, and then I get dressed, and then I go in to do my hair. I don't normally put my makeup on before, but because I was doing a video, I threw that on. So it's extra dry, however, it's still really damp and it's gonna give me the great effect that I'm looking for. So, you're going to blow dry in sections. So I'm going to section off like a small bottom area and use just a really inexpensive clip. I get these at the dollar store and love them because my kids um, take all of my things from my room and I find them all over the house and the dogs have chewed on them. They go missing, they go outside. And so for a dollar I can get three or four and I don't have to worry about my kids getting into it. So I section that off and I love this Kristen S brush. This is um, kind of comparable to the wet brush but I like it better, which is a surprise. Um, it's meant to use in the shower. It goes through tangled, bleached, wet hair like a dream. And my daughter, who's five, actually loves to brush her hair with it. It used to be such a fight to get her to brush her hair, but she loves this brush. It's nice and light. It's really cute because it's rose gold. Um, it's about $14.99, again, from Target. It's Kristen S. for Target, and I will link that too. So as you go through your week section, you're just gonna brush it out, make sure it's free of any tangles or anything like that. Then what I do is just turn it on high, and the first time I did, <laughs> The first time that I tried this, I would wrap this around and I would hold my hair. What I realized quickly is that this thing gets really warm and it's not necessary to put your hand there because it has uh, these bristles in here that grip onto the hair really nicely. So what I started using is this little handle at the end and I do kind of like a two-handed motion. So I'll put my hair in and instead of going down, I blow dry in this upward position. That locks in this volume here at the root. And then I bring it out and then roll it back in and hold it and then bring it out and roll it back in and hold. And that gives a really beautiful volume at the root that after you blow dry up your whole head, um, it will fall just a little bit and look really great because you don't want your hair obviously sticking straight up. So that's my tip for getting really good volume and not burning the heck out of your hand. So I'm gonna do this uh, bottom section and you can kind of see in action how I make this work. You can see it gives a really nice kind of tucked under 
little curl and it gives me nice volume at the root and my hair is super soft. Another tip that's unrelated to this, but something I've been doing to help my hair stay healthy, is put my hair up in a fabric scrunchie at night. That has done wonders for um, like the dryness of my hair. It stays much more hydrated. It doesn't get in any funky positions. You know how when you sleep and it's like flat against your head and sticking out of the sides. It's just easier to manage and style the next day and it doesn't feel as dry and damaged. So that's a little pro tip for you guys. Make sure you're putting your hair up in a high pony at night to help save your hair for the next day. So I'm gonna go through and do the rest of this section and we'll just continue on. As you can see, it moves through pretty quickly. It boasts that it will cut your dry time in half, and I have to say, I'm not sure that it cuts it in half, but it does do a really good job at being very quick and efficient. So the next thing I do after doing one section is I just pull down another section. And I've noticed that the smaller the sections, the faster it goes, and um, the more lift I can get at the root, and the more dry I can get my hair. So there is two sections done, and you can see how smooth it gets. I will say that my hair is naturally very, very frizzy. Um, it's wavy and kinky and not anything that you would want to let just air dry by itself. I have been using, I have been using this Senegent's Hair Covery Shampoo and Conditioner, and it has made an amazing difference in my hair. It uh, is less oily. It definitely has balanced out that overproduction of oil that I used to have in my hair. I can only wear my hair down for one day before I have to either put it half up or in a ponytail. And so I was washing my hair, I'd say every other day to every two days. But since I started using this, I can wear my hair down at least three days and it still looks great and I don't have to use dry shampoo, which can actually be drying for your hair. So you wanna try and avoid it until the very, very end before you're gonna wash your hair. Um, it does have an ingredient called Capixel and it helps to uh, increase the density of the follicle growth in your hair. So for those of you with thinning hair um, or just really thin, fine hair, it does amazing to help increase that follicle density and so your hair is going to be more full. For those of you with lots of full, thick hair, it's going to calm and moisturize and hydrate your hair. So it's for all hair types and it smells really good. It is um, free of sulfates, parabens, gluten, and salicates. So I highly, like this has been probably the biggest game changer for me as far as my hair goes. Um, I can go a week if I wear it up at the very end. So for my oily girls, this is like, I will never use anything else. All right, here we go, another section down. This sucker does get really, really warm, so just be careful you're not holding it in one spot for too long because you could damage your hair, just like any other blow dryer, right? So then I'm gonna do a part, and I'm gonna dry this section, but this is a little bit thicker, so I'm gonna do it a little bit different. Now on this side, I'm gonna blow dry the root a little bit, like this before I go in and do the round brush just because I want to take a little bit of that moisture out to help it go a little bit faster.
This last section in the front, I'm gonna pull it forward a little bit just to give me a little bit more volume so that when I push it back, it's not kind of like stuck against my head right here. So here's the finished product. I mean, I it would have taken me forever and I would have had cramps in my arms and it just would have been so much harder to get this much volume and to get my hair this smooth using just a round brush and a blow dryer on its own and it was super quick and easy. Now because the air is coming through the bristles in an upward and outward motion instead of the blow dryer pushing it down like you normally would, sometimes I'll get some flyaways and um, like the hair will kind of be lifting up. So what I do is I do one quick shot, just kind of brushing through to push those flyaways down. And then I'll do a quick shot with the pool function. Normally with a round brush and using my regular shampoo, I'd have to go in after I do this and do a pass with the flat iron. But like I said, like this shampoo has been the game changer for me and really helped my hair to become a lot more smooth and manageable. It doesn't start to like grow and get frizzy after a couple of hours. Um, so overall, like I love this product. I highly recommend it. If you've got long hair, it'll be great. If you've got short hair, it'll be amazing and even quicker. But this has cut down for me a lot of time. And I even use it uh, the next day, like day two, I'll go through and I'll kind of refresh and add more volume to my hair. Um, it's just like, I don't know. It's great. I don't know what else to say. Go get one. Trust me, you're going to love it. I don't know that I would ever go back to like a regular blow dryer and round brush again after using this guy. So overall, I gave it a 10 out of 10. This Kristen S brush, 10 out of 10. Senegen's hair covering shampoo and conditioner, like a 20 out of 10. That, that was like the game changer, but it gives such great volume. What I normally do is I'll wear my hair down like this for two days and then I'll curl it for day three. Um, I can usually wear it half up for day four and then day five and six I'll wear it in a pony or wear a hat before I wash it again. So overall, I am loving all three of these. These are my go-to products for styling every single time I wash my hair. I would love to hear in the comments, what are your ride or die, cannot live without daily styling items that you love? Tell me in the comments, I'd love to hear. So I'm always looking to try new things and I'd love to try some of the things that you guys love already. So uh, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you guys next time.